beautiful. Well, that was the tune Solid, uh, of course, one of the number one um, singles that just made it on the Billboard Smooth Jazz chart this year from uh, our friend here, musician, Boney James. What a treat to have you on the show this morning, joining us from LA. This is one of the reasons I love doing the show this way, how we're able to do this. You were supposed to be here in the Bay Area, uh, but uh, like many other musicians, you're having to postpone not cancel. So again, what a treat though to have you on the show this morning. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks so much for having you. Yeah, it's neat, isn't it? Yeah. Hey, we got to make the most of it, right? Exactly. So tell me a little bit about, for those uh, just hearing you this morning or finding out about you, um, such a background, such a, the awards that I could go on that you've been able to uh, achieve. And what a, again, what a treat to have you joining us. How have you been dealing with this, uh, this year 2020 has brought us? Well, you know, I mean, just like everyone, it's been crazy for me. I mean, um, just on a you know a human personal level, dealing with the unprecedented historic nature of what we're all living through. And then just professionally, it's been so strange because I did have this new record, Solid, that, that came out right in the middle of the pandemic. Um, strangely, though, I had my biggest debut ever. I, I the rec I've had number one jazz records before, but my new record debuted at number 10 on the Billboard pop chart. It was like Harry Styles and, and the Lady Gaga and BTS <laughs> and Chloe and Halley. And then my record was number 10. I'd never been up there before. So I guess um, having the opportunity to reach out my fans, reach out to my fans online and people were looking for stuff to do, they all went out and bought my record. So I had a big debut and that, that was exciting. So trying to take the good with the bad and just uh, still doing these Facebook Live concerts to reach out to the fans, even though, as you said, I can't be out there touring. Yeah. So how has that it kind of affected you? And and I don't know, talk about doing live music. You you have a show coming up on Facebook Live on Friday. Um, I know it's not the same as being on stage, but it's got to it's got to uplift your spirits. And I know uh, others that are fans of yours, at least a little bit. It so does. It really does. It lifts my spirits. It, it it allows me to to perform, which is something that I really love to do. I love making records, and and as you said, my new CD solid is out now. But uh, performing is why I got into being a musician in the first yeah. place. That connecting with the fans, and and what I found is that even though when you're doing these virtual concerts, um, you're not you're not looking at them. You you actually people can text you questions, and we're communicating back and forth during the process. So in a way, it's a little bit more intimate than a regular concert and so uh, i know a lot of people think that it, it, there's something sort of cool about it they don't get when they come to see me at a show yeah speaking of being cool though let's go back to to how you uh made that chart list with some other uh more of the pop artists do you feel like there's a resurgence of jazz and maybe even getting to a younger crowd now and um i mean i certainly feel like it i feel like we've uh, had the chance to talk with other you know saxophonists and stuff and i feel like jazz is it's not going anywhere well, I hope not. You know, I mean, yeah. certainly I think my music particularly has a lot of elements of contemporary popular yeah. music in it, too. I mean, that's always been my sort of M.O. I grew up loving pop music and R&B music and the music that I make, even though most of it features the saxophone, has, you know, a contemporary vibe to it. And it's very song oriented. And I do actually have some vocals and things like that. So I think I'm hopefully making music that people can can respond to uh, on a much broader level than just your typical you know, jazz. Yeah. Well, we are about to get to, again, a little musical treat. We're going to show, uh, again, your latest song, Solid. Tell us a little bit about this tune and how people can find out uh, more about this album and, again, this the, the concert that you're doing on Friday through Facebook Live. Well, you know, I called the whole record solid, and this is the title cut, and, and I love that word. You know, it, I, a solid relationship is when someone has your back 100%, mm -hmm. and that's how music's always been for me. I mean, even before the pandemic, you know, if, if something was bumming me out, I could just make music, and it would change my mood and make me feel better. So that's where the, the title came from. And um, the whole record is just a feel-good record, you know. It just it, it, it can make you feel a little, take your mind off of things a little bit. I was going to say, we all need a little bit more feel-good in our lives yeah, these days. Right? So it's uh, 3 p.m. on uh, Pacific time. I every two weeks, including this coming Friday, I'm on Facebook Live on my Pony James Facebook page and uh, playing a little mini concerts and interacting. And I hope everyone comes and joins us. Well, again, we're going to get a little taste of that now. Boney, thank you so much for joining us again. Such a such an honor. Thanks so much for having me. Take care. And we'll see you in the Bay Area soon, okay, in 2021. 2021 in the fall, we'll be there at the, at the Capitol Theater. Thank you so much. All right. In the meantime, here he is with Solid.